Hey everybody, it's Brandon again. So this little video for today is about, um, basically was I wrong about Windows 11? Now if you've been watching the channel, you know that we've been promoting Chrome OS Flex and Linux, basically for people um, usually using older devices, slower devices, devices that can't run Windows very well. And one of the devices I featured quite a bit on this channel is this Asus L210M laptop. This was a, um, a rig, it was about $200 on Amazon, and I think you can still get it for that price on Amazon. You can see I have the specs up here. It has a slower Celeron N4020 CPU, 1.1 gigahertz, four measly gigs of RAM. And it comes with, well, this one came with Windows 10 and S mode, which I first thing I did was I took it out of S mode, and then I got the free upgrade to Windows 11 just to get the license for it. Then after that, I promptly put Fedora Linux on it. And once I started doing YouTube, I put Chrome OS Flex on it. And I've been testing Chrome OS Flex on this thing for a while. Most things work except for the SD card, which is an ongoing saga with this device and Chrome OS. But um, <clears throat> I recently switched my Chrome OS Flex device to this uh, 2015 MacBook Air I have sitting around somewhere back there. And so I decided to put Windows back on this thing uh, just to see how it runs and to maybe give it a fair shake. Now, I'm just going to tell you guys why I originally got this slow laptop. I got it to play old games on. Like, I'm, I'm not a big gamer. I don't really care about any of the big new AAA type of titles. But some of the games I do like are Tiberian Sun, which is an old Command & Conquer game from the 90s that I played when I was in high school. And um, other old stuff like that. And... Recently, my son, who's eight years old, started getting into old Command & Conquer games, and we can play multiplayer over our home network here, and it's really fun. And for that, this laptop works really good. Another thing I like to play is DOSBox, old DOS games, and those also run really good on this laptop. And so, for all the stuff I need to do, um, <clears throat> that's, that was the, the reason I originally put uh, Linux on here, is because it's really easy to run all that old stuff on Linux. And, um, but it's also really easy to run all that on Windows. Chrome OS Flex, however, you can't do any of that stuff on Chrome OS. So basically for me, it was either between Windows and Linux. And, um, and Linux was fine on this. But also, I've noticed Windows is fine on this too. I've been using Windows on this for about a week and a half now. And it actually runs a whole lot better than I had expected. Now, it's not fast. Especially, you could tell the UI on Chrome OS Flex on this device is a lot faster than Windows. So I can click on Files. It takes a few moments to pop up. It's not that bad. Moving stuff around is pretty fluent. Um, but I had already had files open before, so it's kind of in memory already. Let's see if I open Edge. I, actually, that wasn't too bad. I was expecting it to be a little slower. I should know one thing I did on this laptop is it came with the uh, 64 gigs of that eMMC, or however you pronounce that memory. And I upgraded it to a uh, M.2 SSD of one terabyte. So I think that helped the performance on this little thing quite a bit. And there's also another reason with that much storage, Chrome OS Flex doesn't make a whole lot of sense because you can't install that much on it. But, I, yeah, so I did upgrade this thing. Like, if I open the store, it'll probably take a while to come up. Actually, it came up pretty good, too. Um, but it's definitely not snappy. I do notice it's a lot faster when um, I don't have it hooked up to an external display like I do right now for recording. So let me go ahead and close out of all this stuff. And there's some things about Windows 11 which I don't like, which I'm kind of going to bag on for a second here. I don't like... They've redone all the context menus in Windows for, from Windows 10 to 11, but all the new ones are missing all the options. So you can go to show more options and that brings you the old menu. And sometimes it, it just like looks really bad. If you right click on a file on a folder, like a disk drive like this, you go to more options and um, it, it's, it's not even in the same style as the new menu. I don't know why they couldn't just do that. There's also a lot of dumbed down stuff. I'm not a fan of this new start menu. Um, you, when you right click on this, you can still get to most of the options, but um, there's a lot of stuff that's just changed. And maybe it's just because I'm not used to it yet. This uh, pinned area, sometimes it feels like it pins stuff in there that I never even wanted. This recommendations, I don't know if you can get rid of that or not. 
I don't like having to go to the all apps to find anything, but these are just minor things. It's not really on the surface that much different than Windows 10. And performance wise, it's not that much slower than Chrome OS or Fedora. So I guess the point of this video is I kind of wanted to know what you guys think about this. Is Windows good enough for most people? Um, for me on this old device, I don't think I'm going to put Linux back on it. I think I'm going to stay with Windows 11 just because for some of these old games, some of them install just a lot easier on Windows. And Linux, a lot of times you have to do extra things just to get them to work. I haven't had to worry about that on Windows here. And if you're playing new games, obviously Windows is going to be better too. Now, this leaves uh, one big caveat out of it, which is that this device actually supports Windows 11, which is not the case for a vast majority of older machines out there. And so if you are on an older machine, uh, that changes the equation up quite a bit. Or if you don't want to pay a hundred some dollars for a Windows license, like if you built your own computer, that's also a, a new different equation. So anyway, I'm just wondering what you guys think about Windows. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you somewhere in between? I'm, uh, I'm somewhere in between. I do like Linux, I do like Chrome OS Flex, but on this little laptop, for what I want to use it for, Windows was kind of the best choice for me. And so that's what I think I'm going to keep on this thing for now. But that's my video. Let me know your thoughts, and I hope you all are having a good day. I'm going to enjoy the 4th of July weekend coming up. It's also my birthday weekend. I'm going to be 39, so that's exciting. But uh, that's all I got for today, and I will see you guys probably next week. Bye now.